I'm going to target a couple of specific areas that I think are important to understand for all of us to understand as surgeons in trying to avoid uh, some of the pitfalls of, uh, of AF surgery. The first thing I want to talk about is the atrial septum uh, and have a, a good understanding of the atrial septum uh, because this really relates a lot to some of the misinformation on, honestly has been put out there regarding uh, heart block um, and the need for pacemaker. So if we look at the triangle of Coke, uh, which is this area here, um, it is uh, an area that's uh, bordered by the tricuspid valve and um, the uh, tendon of Todaro, of course, the AV node uh, lives inside that along with the His bundle right in here. And it, the, the triangle is completed by this line that runs from this point down to here and the coronary sinus ostium lives inside there. So AV node is there, His bundle, as we have talked about, is right there. It's important to realize, of course, that that's in the atrial septum and that's the tendon of Todaro. And so in the evolution of the maze procedure, this is a, a diagram of the maze one procedure. And specifically, this is looking at the atrial septal lesion that was placed there by Jimmy Cox uh, during the maze one procedure. And you can see that the uh, septal lesion was well outside of the region of the AV node um, if placed in the proper location. So it really wasn't possible to cause heart block if performed properly. The maze two procedure, um, the that line uh, be, uh, was moved a bit more posteriorly, as you can see, um, and the upper end of the septal lesion terminated at the SVC. The maze three procedure uh, took that line even further back here, um, and um, it was really posterior to the orifice. Before, remember the maze two was up here and maze three took it back here. And with the maze four procedure, was taken out completely. So um, it really is impossible for the maze four procedure to have any heart block, as you can see. Heart block occurs, of course, because of damage to the AV node or the His bundle, and you're nowhere near the AV node or His bundle um, on a maze four procedure. So if we look at the maze procedure and all, the, all these circles here and lines that you see here are the macro reentrant uh, circuits that, um, that are associated with the maze four procedure. And obviously they are numerous. And that's why there are so many lesion sets um, to address all of those issues. Uh, when you do the maze procedure uh, and the Cox four maze procedure specifically, um, this is what you end up with so that all of those lesions are, um, or all those uh, mac macro entrance circuits are gone. And you can see here the um, AV node and SA node or SA node that lives up in here can still conduct to the mass of uh, atrial tissue. But this area here is no longer uh, activated. And of course, what we're trying to do is eliminate the pulmonary vein sites, which we know about uh, 85 to 90% of all activity for atrial fibrillation comes from the pulmonary veins. So this is what we're keeping intact. The other thing I'd like to say at this point is to, I think you, when you start doing a lot of uh, AFib surgery, you have to start thinking about the uh, atrial mass as one chamber electrophysiologically. Uh, it's not really two chambers, it's one chamber. Uh, actually, Leonardo da Vinci taught us that 500 years ago, he talked about the atrial chambers contracting together and seeming to be one, knowing that they were two. Um, so it is important that, um, that you think about it that way because you will begin to appreciate more and more the importance of having the right-sided lesions uh, along with the left-sided lesions. So there are many patterns uh, to the maze procedure I've, as I've talked about, um, but only one principle. And so the maze procedure really should not be used as a generic label for anything done in the atrium. And unfortunately today that still goes on. If somebody does something in the atrium, they call it a maze procedure. It is not the case. Um, this is an example, uh, so-called Wolf mini maze. Uh, this is not a maze procedure. Basically it's a pulmonary vein isolation with a clip on the left atrial appendage. Um, Left-sided maze, this is not a maze procedure. People call it a maze procedure, and I 
tend to do that myself sometimes. And technically, it really is not a maze procedure because you're not complete. You're not uh, completing the quote maze that uh, I've shown you in a few slides earlier um, to interrupt all macro reentrant re uh, um, circle circuits. That is not a maze procedure. The Dallas lesion set left side only. Um, this was a way of uh, trying to prevent post-operative mitral flutter that we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Um, but it really has nothing to do with the maze concept. 